fancy seeing you here welcome to book break now did you see our last gift guide i'm gonna do that again but this time i'm gonna get specific now to get specific you kind of have to group things and organize them and put them in categories that means sometimes you've got to make assumptions about what people like i've got a pile that's mums sisters aunties anybody who identifies in female or might just like these books. Today is an episode of air quotes. We take, take everything with air quotes. I've also done the same for dads, uncles, brothers, people who identify as male, or people who just might like male-ish things. Air quotes again. And equally, we've done some age stuff. So I've got some things that children might like, and then things that teenagers might like. You know the people that you love best, so keep your ears peeled for the whole video. Who knows, the perfect gift could be anywhere. So for mothers, aunties, cousins, girlfriends, girls, people, people who identify as female, or people who might look what society deems girly things. I know a lot of mums who like Frank's, Frank Sinatra, and I know a lot of me who is in love with Frank Sinatra. Have you seen him in Guys and Dolls? Have you seen him in Guys? Ah, oh, this is a new biography. Look how shiny it is. Look at all the wonderful pictures of him being dashing. Oh, I've also gone for big gifty books that just look nice. Another astonishing one that's a bit of a doorstep or look really impressive underneath the tree is um, Caroline Duffy's collected poems. This is the new collection. Look at the die cut. <gasps> it's one of the most astonishingly beautiful things I've ever seen. Another stunning one is A Curious Friendship, which is set in the 20s. It's perfect for anybody who likes historical fiction, likes reading about the 20s, really like The Great Gatsby and that kind of really luxurious era. This is for them. It's about the central relationship between uh, a man and an older woman. Mm. And then Kate Morton. I can't go one video without mentioning Kate Morton, can I? I've got this really embarrassing girl crush. Anyway, Kate Morton books. These three are new editions designed by Sophie Allport and they're so luxurious. So if you know anybody who already likes Kate Morton but doesn't own these beautiful um, kind of keep forever copies um, or somebody who should get into Kate Morton, you should take a look because they're absolutely stunning. Next on the hit list, we've got boyfriends, brothers, uncles, fathers, anyone who identifies as male or might like more male-ish things in the loosest sense of the word. How to Drive by Ben Collins, um, who uh, used to be the Stig, who doesn't want to learn to drive from the Stig. It's a mix of him telling stories about, you know, when he was doing stunts with James Bond and then also being like, yeah, but really this is how you seriously safely drive. <laughs> so this is also perfect for anybody who's trying to or has not yet passed their driving test, not thinking of anyone in particular, me. For anyone who likes the outdoors and adventure, we've got Alone on the Wall, the ultimate limits of adventure. He's a free solo climber. Uh, in the last 40 years, only a handful of climbers have pushed free soloing to the razor edge of risk. Half of them are dead. Terrifying. For those smarty pants that you know, how about the disappearing dictionary? It's all about words that we've lost. Wherever you go in the English speaking world, there are linguistic riches from times past awaiting discovery. All you have to do is choose a location, find the old documents and dig a little. My favourite one is blorp, blorp, blorp which means to belch or burp. Much more accurate and onomatopoeic, I think. Brian Blessed, because who doesn't love Brian Blessed? This memoir's only just out. It's so shiny and new. For somebody who likes a bit of a puzzle, a bit of a riddle me this, how about one plus one equals three? It's loads of thought experiments and ways to think differently about problems or ambitions. Howard Marks is the most famous drug smuggler of our age. And I think I just need to roll this footage to show you why you need this book. Mr. Smiley is about my hitherto unrevealed involvement in the ecstasy business. I think now is the right time to do it because I really don't give a f What a guy. What a guy. Then in my last category, I've got some more age specific stuff. For lovers of YA, we've got A Thousand Nights. Did I show you this though? Did I? Oh, it's a retelling of Shahrazad, but it's amazing and it's pretty feminist and, and ama just, ama just amazing. Um, and I did a video about it on my channel if you want to watch that, but I just like astonishing, astonishing book. Doesn't it feel really Christmassy as well? And then for Lovers of Rainbow Rowell of Eleanor and Park and fangirl fame, how about Carry On? Is the fan fiction that's featured in Fangirl. So anyone who likes Harry Potter, fantasy world, or is just already a disciple, and I use the word disciple quite appropriately, of Rainbow Rowell should get this in their stocking. Then working down the ages, there's a new goth girl book out. This one was just like, loads of people my age loved this book as well. Everyone was going crazy about it. Um, and this is the new one. It's got a little secret bonus book in the back, which is lovely. And look at these end papers, so fancy. Or how about the new Moonboy book, The Fish Detective? It's written by Nick V. Murphy and Chris O'Dowd. Chris O'Dowd? 
Chris O'Dowd. Yeah, he writes books. I know. These are like really nice Keep Forever Children's ones that arguably give to anybody who really likes Alice in Wonderland. We've got the little folks edition of Alice in Wonderland. Look at those gold edges, beautiful original illustrations. Or for a bigger format, we've got the nursery rhyme Alice. Or if they're super tiny, how about what the ladybird heard next? Look, it's got glitter on it. Do you remember when we went to Hackney Farm and we met Lydia Monks and Julia Donaldson? You know that Julia Donaldson's the mastermind behind Gruffalo, right? Well, she is, and she's awesome. You should check it out. <laughs> That's it for our Christmas gift guiding. What do you want for Christmas? Tell us in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and we'll see you in another book break soon. Books bless us, everyone. Have a good Christmas, guys. Ho, 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 ho. To somebody who likes a good puddle. Puddle? Somebody who likes a good puddle. You might not have heard of, but I bloody love. Can't say bloody. Can I say bloody? I don't know, I'm being employed. It's about beautiful man. It's about beautiful man. <laughs> I've got a pile that's mums, sisters, aunties, anybody who identifies as female or has a tendency towards female things. What is a female thing? I don't know what I'm doing. It's about a man's. Why are these helicopters still here? Why do they torment me? Okay.